Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Tiger Rising. And this is a new film based off of the Kate D. Camilo book, and is from writer-director Ray uh, Giarratana. And this film focuses on a young boy who moves into a motel with his dad, who starts working at the motel after the death of his mother. He's not fitting in well at school. He has these strange rashes on his legs. He gets sent away from school. But not before he develops this new friendship with a young girl named Sistine Bailey. And this girl is very rambunctious. She's like, I'm not going to be sticking around here. I don't like this place. My dad's going to come get me. And there's obviously some issues with her dad and her mother. And her father cheated and... Her mother took her away, and she still has a strong connection with her dad and doesn't want to let that go. And these two young kids find a tiger in the woods, and this tiger's owned by the man who runs this motel, this scummy dude played by Dennis Quaid. Um, and this is the basic story, and, you know, you have this journey of, like, will they, won't they release this tiger? Um, will they be able to get past loss and whether it's from like actual death or fracturing of a family and all of these different kinds of things pull in and from what I can tell this seems to be a pretty faithful adaptation of the book there is some uh, mystical elements like some visions and stuff like that imagination that sparks that you see like the young girl Sistine riding this tiger or you know, little wood carvings that our young protagonist, uh, he, uh, Rob, who he makes, and, like, this little bird looks like it's gonna fly away, and you have all those little things in here. It's a very sweet coming-of-age story, and, you know, besides the fact that there's a tiger here, it does deal with a lot of common themes that it has in a lot of coming-of-age stories, like I mentioned before, like, the family issues, the loss... Why does the mom always have to die, right? And you have those kinds of things going on in this film, and you have this tiger, this representation of, I think this young boy, Rob, sees his mother, the spirit. He has flashbacks. He remembers this amazing presence, and he feels a special connection to this tiger, and is this a representation of his feelings about his mother not being able to let go? Is this why he doesn't want to let this tiger go? Because he wants to hold on to it. And, like, he miss lost his mom. And you have loss and grief as the central themes here, and they're done in an earnest way. It does get a little melodramatic. It does get a little bit too sentimental. And there's some issues, like, Willie Mae, who's this... Uh, Queen Latifah plays this character, and she's, like, the wise woman at this motel, and just, like... Fun little tropes there, and don't know if you still need those kinds of tropes popping up in things, but they do, and like, Queen Latifah is earnest enough in this film, and you have this cast, like, Christian Convery, who plays young Rob, and he's a endearing young man who gives a fine performance in this film, and, but Madeleine Mills... I think she goes a little too rambunctious and she goes a little too over the top of like her choices and her reactions to things and it gets like it kind of took me out of the movie because I'm like you don't seem like you're an actual little girl you feel like a caricature in this movie obviously she I don't know if that's like her choices or the direction that she was given but like she commits to it and there's emotional moments too where she does a fine job I think the um the real MVP here is how scummy and disgusting Dennis Quaid is as Boham, the guy that runs his motel. He just went all in, and honestly, I'm perfectly fine seeing Dennis Quaid pop up in things doing this kind of thing. Because he did it in this, The Intruder, and like he's just going full-blown, just crazy character in this. And overall... This mystical element to it, this magic about this film, it brings, like, a heartwarming aspect to it, even though, like, in the very last moments this film, like, 
beat you over the head with its message and just like, here's some narration to tell you exactly what this movie was about that you just watched. But in general, I think The Tiger Rising is a fine film. I think it's a nice movie you could watch with your family. And in general, I think it does a fine job of conveying its themes, even if it's not the most original and it's a little bit more, maybe a little bit more than a little bit on the nose about everything going on. But those are my thoughts on The Tiger Rising. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.